Well, I'm going to do one of the sub store video, uh, vlogs. Um, I want to first say I've been watching videos just today from a YouTube channel called SV Seekers, I think it is. Anyway, it's about, he's building a boat, and he called it a, he called it a word, I, I can't pronounce it. It looks like a Chinese junk, is what I remember hearing him called. Um, I don't know exactly what his uh, mission in life is, but it's kind of cool, I mean, it's boring, it's, it's welding, so. You know, but it's kind of cool, the the procedures and the steps and the stuff you have to do, and you know, it's, you know. But my little whiny post today, I'm gonna have to wear my glasses. Um, I'm gonna whine about my paycheck. Um, I made 51 hours on this check. Um. I grossed eight hundred thirteen dollars. I netted five four fifty three. My <clears throat> income tax, my federal income tax was ninety nine dollars, and my social security tax was forty nine dollars, and my Medicare tax was eleven dollars. I group all that into they they separated out to make it sound better. I call it all the same tax same thing. Taxation. The poorer you are, the higher those taxes are. You get to where you're too poor to pay those taxes, you're you're shaking a can and you're eating out a soup line. Um I defaulted on a student loan. They're taking fifteen percent. So between the taxes and the student loan, that's approximately 45% of my tax, of my check. And then, <clears throat> and then I got life insurance, got medical insurance, 401k, Roth, Roth IRA, and then um, accidental and death insurance which isn't so bad you take all those deductions yeah take all those deductions and you got less than a hundred dollars got two hundred uh, right at hundred and fifty dollars in taxes and hundred and sixty dollars taxes. So I owe the landlord five four hundred dollars. Now I had to go to the doctor to try to get better. So that was twenty five dollars. On top of the sixteen dollars I already paid the insurance company. Let's see that they, they pissed me off anyway because they got a five hundred dollar deductible and a I think it's a $3,500 out of pocket. No one of those clever uses of words. Let's don't tell a lie. Let's just call it something different. Maybe technically it's different. A $3,500 and $500 deductible to me is a deductible. Anyway, if I go to a clinic, it's $100. Emergency clinic, it's a hundred dollars. If I go to a general practitioner, it's twenty-five dollars. Right now, I'm trying to beat this stupid code, so I, that's one of the reasons I had to go to the doctor because I went to a clinic and spent a hundred dollars, and it didn't work. Well, it did for a little bit, but I still got the issue on that. This doctor, he's supposed to prescribe me some antibiotics. And um, reality is, as I've got twenty nine dollars, so
So the insurance has been good at paying scripts. Still, I'm always, <clears throat> I'm always going to have a copay. Because it's the way the government works, it's the way the insurance company works. If it's just the way it works, you're always going to have a copay. Yeah. Natural responsibility, you understand. You must take responsibility for your health, health care. Uh, <clears throat> I got a finger for him. Anyway, uh, so that's that's what I intended to do when I went to Walmart and got the money for the landlord. At all, I forgot. Now I gotta go back to Walmart, burn some more gas. Um, it's real likely that I'm not gonna have a whole lot of gas to get me through the week. And I wanted to go to the Texas Renaissance Festival on the seventh of November. And I've got like one or two checks between now and then. I really want to go. But I also want to spend some money when I go. The ticket itself is like 16 bucks, Something like that. Then of course you got to have lunch. And like I said, I want to spend a little bit of money. Um, I've seen some stuff last year I wanted. So. Plus I got, I got a birthday present coming up on the 4th. That I want to take care of. So, here we are. I can't do nothing this week. It's gone. Uh, this motherfucker gonna get his money anyway. Um, and you know, I got to ride around and pay him again in about a week. Can't get away from the damn landlord. It's just, uh, constant. It's constant. Getting paid off and then turn around and have to pay him again. Um, I'm trying to work though. I've got 33 hours so far, and we're working on 44 tonight. If we get the get the whole night, and if we get to work at all, it'll be 44. And if it's 44 and no more, then that's all I gotta do is pay the rent. I'll be broke again. You know, I keep hearing posts and stuff talking, whining and complaining about welfare. The welfare is chump change, people. I'm telling you, it's it's minor potatoes. You know, the politicians and the government and everybody wants you to look at that, and uh, you know they want you to be mad because there's a pregnant woman, you know, you know on welfare, been there for ten years, and all she does is make babies. I don't care if she makes a thousand babies, she's not gonna get as much welfare. As some corporation, all corporations has to do is say, "Oh, whoa, well, it's me! I can't pay my bills." And government has the money. Some investment firm plants rice in the fucking desert and drills two hundred thousand dollar holes to suck the water out of the ground to water the rice, and they can't make no money, so the government buys the rice. But we, they want you to look at this woman over here in this ghetto with these kids. Okay, maybe she does need to hold the aspirin with her knees a little bit. But she's not sucking on my goddamn check nearly as hard as that fucking corporation planting rice in the fucking desert. And they don't take a goddamn scientist, a genius, to know that you don't plant rice in the desert. Can't make no rice down here, and can't make no money with rice in Louisiana. In Texas, South Texas, how the hell are you going to make any money with rice in a desert in California? Anyway, that's my bitch section. Peace.